look how the India has transformed in the last nine years. We were eleventh in our size of economy. Eleventh in the size of economy today. In nine years, we are fifth in the world, and by 2030, we will be third in the world. By 2030, only US and China will be ahead of us, and our Prime Minister aspires that by 2047, we will be the biggest economy in the world. That is the way we are going forward. And when the economy expands, when the economy expands, what happens? It creates jobs. It creates opportunities. Today, when Prime Minister started startup, people used to say, "What is this startup, startup, startup?" But it has given wings to the dreams of our youth. Today, we can see Bengaluru. So many startups are there. Students who were or youth who were seeking jobs are now job givers. And after China, now the biggest startup ecosystem. is in india and indian youth are doing such wonderful things in the tech startups and these startups are not only reducing costs but it is also easing the lives of the people of our country so i think all these policies of our honorable prime minister and thirdly just look at the geopolitics after covid the entire world economy is in recession america is in recession britain is in recession europe is in recession china is in recession the only country which has not faced the recession is india india our growth rate is highest among the world because in past 9 years our prime minister invested in people it he invested in infrastructure he invested in rural development he invested in building houses for the poor he invested in creating toilets for the poor he invested in giving facilities to the poor and our gdp growth for 9 years has been fueled by our investment in the rural area our investment in the poor people and that is why we did not hit the recession and india is booming and today for past 30 years china has been factory of world but now everybody has realized that putting all eggs in one basket is not advisable so all the industries in china want to put another industry elsewhere so that they can smoothly move from china and their choice today is india because of prime minister narendra modi ji's efforts because of the ecosystem which he has created and tomorrow's factory of world will no more be china tomorrow's factory of world will be india that is the opportunity which india has got today and i think with all these policies who is going to benefit the people my sisters and brothers who are sitting in front of me it is you who are going to benefit because it is your generation will reap the fruits of all these changes which are made by honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji that this is time for india this is time for us to lead the way for the entire world and you are part of it you can do it have confidence in yourself and go forward and i am sure that your generation will see a day where india will be a developed nation